Hi everybody, this is Kiana. Uh, today I'm sitting in my backyard. Uh, this is the second video that I've made since moving to Queensland. The first one being when I shaved my head. Um, so this one I wanted to talk about. It seems like there's a reoccurring theme that's coming up at the moment for a lot of different people um, in both ways and that theme happens to be envy. So I wanted to talk about envy today because it's something that's come up for me recently as well. So um, going back a few weeks ago, I um, was with one of my friends and I just had this feeling overcome me and at that point in time I was really wondering what it is and what it is that I was feeling and I, when I sat and reflected upon it I realised that I was actually feeling quite envious of her. So that really caught me off guard because I didn't think that I was the sort of person that would be feeling envious, especially towards somebody that I respected and admired so much. And what I come to the conclusion of is that, um, you know, she's actually living the life that I have not given myself permission to be living just yet. So the first thing that I wanted to share with you is in this video is if you're feeling envious of anyone, have a look at it, how it is that they're living their life and what it is that they're offering you to be able to take witness because I think that envy in a way is a way of your soul letting you know of the potential that you have that you haven't yet embraced within yourself. The second part of this video is um, something that I was able to acknowledge within myself the other day. So I came to upgrade time with my mobile phone and um, the person from Vodafone said to me, oh, did you want to have the new iPhone? And at that point in time I was like, no, 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 I don't want to have the iPhone and I didn't even think twice, it just instantly was a no. And I ended up getting a different phone and blah, 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 blah. Long story short, um, I looked at the rationale behind it and there was no real rationale behind saying no. Um, and it would have actually been of service for me to have had that type of phone. So I sat with it and I asked myself why it is that I rejected that. And basically what it came down to is that I didn't want to have anything that anybody else wanted to have. And I looked at that then as being a metaphor for my life, for the way I live of the relationships that I've had and for the relationship that I've let go and it's always been one of those things of um, you know not wanting to have to fight for what I believe in or what I think I'm entitled to or what I should be having in my life and when it comes to a point of making somebody feel envious I have just realized that you know there's been points in my life where I've had things going so awesomely and then all of a sudden somebody comes along being envious and does everything within their their thought power to be able to try and destroy me whether that be making up lies or creating rumors or spreading gossip or just trying to um, intimidate me in some way shape or form or question my character and who I am as an actual person so um, putting all of that into perspective I've realized that there's been quite a lot of times within my life that I've um, felt as though when I have everything that I want to have in my life it then means that I end up losing it so it's not that I, there's a fear of success there it's a fear of having something that somebody else doesn't have and really that's not a very good way to live because if you're scared of somebody else destroying your life and making your life miserable what you're actually doing in the process is destroying your life and making your own life miserable and I mean there is that element where it's better the devil you know but realistically what you don't know is how happy you can actually be if you are living the life that's in line with what you actually want to be doing and you know being true to who you want to be doing uh, be true to who you are rather than who you want to be doing I suppose that can come into it too um, so with that as well you know I think that still in Australia even in this time and this day and age there's still a massive thing with tall poppy syndrome and uh, whether or not you're the sort of person that um, wants to subscribe to that, that or not is you know your choice but it just doesn't serve us it hasn't served us for such a long time and there's so many people that are holding on to all these stories and I was sharing the other day with a friend I've got that many stories and that many things you know you name a topic and I can tell you my story of survival and triumphing over the situation and all this sort of stuff but in reality, does it make my life any happier having had that experience? Does it make me any stronger as a person in reality having had that experience? Or does it mean that, you know, maybe the warriors amongst us are the ones that haven't made the choice to have that adversity in the first place, the ones that have been smart enough to be able to make a different choice, a better choice, one that's more serving towards themselves and where they're at. So just wanted to share that at this point in time. Um, you know, so if there is anyone in your life that you're feeling envious of or if you're trying to make sure that you're never going to have anybody feeling envious of you, it's just, it's not serving you, so let it go. Um, 
you know, there's this whole thing at the moment as well where it's like, you know, if I've got haters, well, then I'm doing the right thing and that's all well and good. But, you know, it's not really anything that you need to be focusing on. It's more about them than it is about you. Um, so with that, go out, make today whatever it is that you're looking for, make it beautiful. I mean, look at this. It's all so amazing what we can create for ourselves when we're actually making it a focus in our lives to live something that's of more meaning and... You know, we all deserve that. Uh, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. So this is me signing off for my second video since I've moved to Queensland. Much love. <laughs>